Oh, 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 oh. Bro, what the hell? He's right there. Yo. What the? I can't. I don't want to be here right now, Mo. Please, bro. Like, you know me. I'm always down to help out, but this is getting too much. What's up guys, I'm LCRG, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a camping 24 hour challenge using Timu items only. Now you guys might recognize the house in the background. It is official, I'm back in Canada, I'm back to my abandoned house on my abandoned property on this forest of mine that I have. It's like 100 acres, we got so much going on here. So today I'm gonna be doing a 24 hour overnight challenge at my abandoned property, at my abandoned house with Timu items only. This should be interesting. It has been over six or seven months since I've been to my abandoned property. The last time I came here, I camped out the night and I had an interaction with a guy dressed as a camel man. I don't know if he's still here. He probably isn't, like that was a long time ago. And if he is, well, we're gonna find out and we're gonna meet him today. But I'm thinking this right here is gonna be the best spot for me to set up camp with all my awesome Timu products. Yo, we got our tent all set up over here. This is a hammock tent. And apparently the instructions are, you just tie it to a tree, you should float on it. You'll be able to sleep on it. Can you believe you can buy this double hammock for only one buck and with free shipping? Usually, something like this would cost around $12. But now, by clicking the second link in my description below or scanning the QR code that you're seeing on the screen, and of course, downloading the Timu app, new users can get it only for $1. That's $1, guys, so freaking cheap. But obviously, we're gonna test out the durability of this thing, and I'm thinking it's gonna be great. That really is the best deal that you'll find anywhere. In addition to this hammock, you can also find a variety of different products that I'm going to be testing out for this 24 hour overnight challenge on the Timu website using all the links that I'm going to be putting in my descriptions down below or scanning this QR code that you're seeing on the screen. And the best part is, is everything is at an affordable price. And if you use my link or search my code, all users can get a $100 bundle to save even more. So don't wait, click below to get on these amazing deals. Moshi wants to be the first one to go ahead and test this out, but honestly, I'm the one that's going to be sleeping here. I think Moshi is going to be sleeping in the car. And by car, I mean the back of my vehicle because Timu hooked me up with something really cool. This is awesome. This is it's basically cool. an inflatable mattress that you inflate in the back of your car. You put these underneath so it can be more support and then you can literally sleep. And it's so easy to inflate because it also comes with a pump and this thing is literally only a couple of bucks. You can also find this one in my description down below. This is pretty cool, dude. I actually like it, it's really nice. Hop on in, let's see how comfortable this is. <laughs> That's very comfy. I wow. love it. I want to do that now. My turn. Oh, yeah, this is comfortable, dude. This is so cozy. I like it. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, I'm really tall. Let's see if I can close my, my doors and still be comfortable in here. Hey, it comes with a pillow, too. Dude, this is pretty cool because I can probably close this door. Bye, Moshi. All right, Moshi, you can go ahead and test this thing out before me. I love the color of it, it's more like camo style. Oh, oh, hey, take it easy now. Oh, this is very That's not cool. how you get into it. Well, you could actually sit like that. Keep in mind, it is a double hammock. Wow, this is nice. Dude, this thing is actually, how much do you weigh? Bro, I weigh at least 322 pounds. 322 pounds, and he's well supported by this double hammock <laughs> from Timu. But hey, let's actually test it out for real here. Wow, this is a double hammock. Yep, it's a double hammock, and that means I can actually go inside and close it up on me. Wait, for only a dollar? Yep, for only one dollar. That's pretty cool, man. All right, let's see if it's gonna hold my weight. That's less than a bag of noodles. Dude, will it, will it hold my weight? Oh! No, dude, I, I actually, I'm very confident in this. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm 220 pounds. I'm stressed for you, bro. Dude, this is cool. Wait, you weigh less than me. Dude, I'm 220 pounds. Well, how, do we, well, how do I close it? Oh, this is this is for the, the flies or something? Yeah, it's oh. a double hammock, dude. That's pretty cool, man. Also, it's a good way to hide if you want to hunt something. Bro, I'm still sleeping on this tonight. Wow. Oh, wow. This is cool. Yo, Timu, shout out to you. Big thank you. <laughs> now that I'm all well rested, I still got to set up the rest of this camp. It can get pretty loud here in the forest at nighttime, and that's why Timu has hooked me up with this awesome camouflaged speaker system here. Um, I'm going to be able to watch my own videos at nighttime while I'm sitting around and just chilling. Let's go ahead and see how loud these things are. Hey. No! Right when we get to the summoning portal. No way, dude. Oh, no way. Check it out. No. Dude, this is it. It's that thing is awesome. Happen. So I feel like Moshi is going to get scared at nighttime to sleep in the car all the way back at the parking lot at my abandoned house. And I'm pretty sure he's going to want to cuddle up here near the fire. And that's why Timu has sent me an actual bed.
Now that we got Moshi's cot all ready to go, this is what he's gonna be sleeping on tonight. And the funny thing is, it's called the Tom Mount. <laughs> Yo, Tom, my boy. Ugh. Dude, this is actually comfortable. Timu, you killed it. Dude, we're living luxury all thanks to Timu. And the funny thing is, is these items literally only cost a couple of bucks. Oh, it's like, like a blanket. Like, why go to actual big name stores, pay a ton of money for all this when you can get it for so freaking cheap? Yeah, look, he just like jumped on that thing. Damn, this is gonna be our camp today, but we're not done yet because we got more. You know what's awesome is that Timu sent me this really cool, super bright battery powered um, chargeable light, which I'm gonna hang right here. It's gonna be my reading light because I like to read at nighttime. There we go. We got light, baby. Whoa, you like to read at right? What time? What? I like to read. I like to read Twitter. Twitter comments. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Twitter, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. I would really appreciate your support. At Mosarji on Instagram. At Mosarji on Twitter. And at It's Mosarji on Facebook. Yo, Mo, this is a pretty cool bag. Yeah, that's a really cool bag. And you know the best part about this bag? Uh -huh. You can actually charge your phone because it's got a USB port. Oh you no just way! Connect it to your battery pack that you put inside the bag, and then you can charge stuff. And the best part is. Timu sent me this awesome, super bright, super massive flashlight that I'm gonna be using here at nighttime. Oh my god. Wait, so you can charge your phone through your bag? You can charge your phone through your bag, exactly. Cool. It's got a connection port and it also comes Whoa, what with is that? Sustenance. What is that, Mo? Now, if you ever get hungry in the wild and you really need food, all you have to do is reach into your Timu bag and you gotta pray. You gotta pray to God that something will appear in here because it's like a magic pot, okay? First of all, look at that. We got some utensils. We got a knife. We got a fork. Wow, so it comes with all these utensils. Look how cool this spoon. Wow. It's like a collapsible spoon. It also comes with this, and if you want to eat something inside of it. Whoa! Boiled eggs? What? What the heck? Wait a minute. All the way from Timu? Timu style boiled... Hold on, let's see, let's see. Oh, wait, it's real boiled eggs? Mmm. What the hell? Joking. <clears throat> are you okay? Mo, the eggs are a little bit dry. But these eggs are pretty good. Thank you, Timu. Aim for the head. Oh, not bad. That was your first one. Not bad. Come on, Moshi, you got this. Oh, I played the uh, iMessage archery. You got this. <laughs> Go for it. Hey, you hit a tree. Not yeah. bad. Oh, oh! You got it right there. Right through the ear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo, this thing's sharp. Dude. Wow. All right, that's what I want to see you do. I believe in your motion. About that believing part. Um. <laughs> motion and I have been making a video doing archery for the vlog channel, and he went to recover some arrows, and I haven't seen him. He's been like literally gone for like ten minutes now. Yo, Moshe! Moshe! Wait, is that him? Oh, there he is. Ugh. Yo! You're going the wrong way! Are you lost? I think he's going the wrong way. I'm over here! <laughs> You're going the wrong You're going the wrong way, bro! Did you get lost or something? What? There's a guy? I saw a guy right there. What do you mean there's a guy? Over to your property. There's Why a guy. There? There's a guy right there. Where? Dude. What do you look like? What do you look like? He had like a outfit on, like a camouflage, a green and Actually? Yeah, yeah, he's right there. Just, he's just wearing camo. Camo? Yeah. It's him. He's still here. Oh, that's the camo man? That's the camo man I was telling you. Oh my god, man. She kind of scared, man. It's a good thing it's right outside. Where he was he? down there to the left. Hello? He was wearing his camo? Yeah, down there to the left. What color was it? It was like greenish, but there's different shades of green. It's kind of like different black, different shades of gray, but green version. So he's still trying to blend into this yeah. environment. God damn it with this guy. Who is he? Is he just a random guy that lives here? From what I found, I found his diary last year, or last fall, before I left for the Dominican. Yeah. Um, he had a diary, and in the diary had like pictures of me. That's like weird. photoshopped with like a, a noose around my neck and this guy hates me. Apparently he was a, a long time fan and he tried to reach out to me to help him out with money and I never replied apparently. 
Yeah, right here is where I saw him. If you look to the left, that's exactly where I saw him. It's like he was to the left a bit. I wonder if he crossed over from here. Because there's no way of walking through that area because that's fully, fully covered. Like you can't walk through there. I'm trying to see if I can see footprints in the trench. I don't see any boot marks. Yeah, there's no boot marks here. What the hell? Bro, this is ridiculous. If he's still here on my property. Yeah, I'm actually scared. Camping out here is going to get really scary tonight. <gasps> What's that? Is that beer? German beer. Anyone that knows me knows I don't drink alcohol or do drugs. Um, yeah, so why would that be in your backyard? And this is right on the trail and we've been here a million times last year. I've never seen this one before. Or you have a secret alcohol addiction, which I don't think you do. <laughs> Bro, there's people online that think I do drugs. Really? Like crack, cocaine, like I've never, I've never even smoked weed in my life. I just seen him peek his head through that area there. Bad odor? Yep. It smells like khara. Probably too. The thing is, this guy's got camo on, right? So it's like extra hard for us to see him. Show yourself. I really thought by leaving the country and coming back like four, three, four months later, like this guy would have been gone. You heard that, right? He's in there. Dude, I feel like he's building a fort or something. Nah, he's probably setting a trap for us, dude. I don't want, I'm not gonna go after him right now. I gotta come back with my guns. I think that'd be the best thing for us to do. I hate the fact that we're always doing this. Like, we're always trying to look for someone on this damn property. Like, I'm almost like wanting to sell this place. Just be rid of it and go buy a property somewhere else. Like, what is up with people and coming here? Last fall, I was in this area here and I was recording myself kind of like this and he just appeared out of nowhere back there. And I gave chase, but I couldn't see him because he, he was camoed out. So he was really, really hard to see. This is the only time I'm gonna do this because I'm really sick and tired of actually looking for this guy and other people like him. Like back when like Steve the Clown was here before he got arrested. I mean, a lot of you guys are saying in the comments it could be Steve the Clown, but I don't know. Do you think it's Steve the Clown? That's oh, he Steve. got arrested, didn't he? He did, but I, I don't know like just how long they put him in for. Maybe, maybe he has kids that want a vengeance. Maybe the other guy that was with Steve, right? But the other guy said he, w he would leave me alone. Like he was Yo, sorry. What? There's a black thing. You know what I hate about that area is when I was looking for the camel man, he actually attacked me in the darkness at nighttime. Down that way. Okay, let's go. You got an arrow, I got a big knife with me. Oh, it's all wet here. There's no way he would have gone through here just now. Like, it's all wet. He must have like some alternate route that even I don't know. Yeah, maybe he's gone over this. This is kind of the area where like he tried to jump me at nighttime. I was filming with night vision, but my camera like malfunctioned and I, I didn't even get to record it. So this right here is an area in my forest that I've never explored before because in the summertime when all this is fully leafed in, Oh, you cannot. Sorry. Oh, did you just stab me with My bad. I'm so sorry. You just stabbed me with an arrow. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I give an arrow to a guy that's. Are you sure you're not working for the camel guy? <laughs> yeah, my bad. <laughs> he just stabbed me in the hand and the butt with a freaking arrow. In the summertime, this is all fully like blossomed like trees, bushes. You cannot walk through here. So I've never actually explored this part of the forest. 
So let's see if we can find anything. Maybe there's like another hidden fort or something. Bro, this is a very sharp arrow. Oh, I see something. What is that? Yo, I can't, I, I can't get it. You can't get it. There you go. Yo, there's something here. Oh, that's just a weird tree. That's like peeled back in a weird way over there. I thought it was like a a frame of a car or something from far away. Yeah, so these are all areas that I've never explored before. Dude, I feel like we're gonna find something dead. Like something big. Looks like this used to be a trail at one point. This is new to me. Yeah, we, we can't see nobody. We haven't heard anything rustling around in the bushes. Moshi's practicing his target skills. Not bad. <laughs> you get in there. That's his first time shooting a bow and arrow. We just heard something loud. I have a feeling we're being watched, bro. We heard like this loud, like, drum sound. So, um, no, are you okay, man? Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I'm trying to, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm stuck. I'm just gonna give up on life right now. You know what? This is more comfortable. <laughs> nah, bro, you gotta get up. As you guys can see, it's nighttime right now, and uh, we're, we're starting to get cozy. I think it might rain, and if it rains, we're gonna have to move this entire campsite into my abandoned house, which scares the hell out of me. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. We we heard there's rain like literally 10 minutes away, and it's raining hard. It wasn't forecasted for rain for today, but it is what it is. By the way, that was my mistake. I sat on the wrong side <laughs> when I was sitting in it. Oh, my knife. There's my knife. Yeah, guys, this is the camping challenge. Moshi's saying he spotted the camel man earlier. We did hear something, and I kind of saw him running off in the distance, although I can't be 100% sure that it was him, but I'm not going to let that deter us from camping out here tonight. This is what we came out here for. I'm actually planning on doing a live stream for you guys on the main channel, if the internet allows me inside of my abandoned house later Yo, tonight. What? What watch is that? The watch? Yeah, what the heck is that? Oh, my watch. Oh, it's a smartwatch? Yeah, this is a smartwatch. That's crazy. This is um actually a smartwatch from Timu. They actually sent me this. Pretty cool, it's only a couple bucks. It tells you your heart rate. It tells you how many steps you've taken. Basically everything that an Apple watch does, but for only a few dollars. It's pretty comfortable, it's pretty cool. You can actually answer calls on it, check your text messages, weather, all this stuff. It's got a vein sensor on the bottom as well. And if you guys wanna get this watch, you can use my links down in the description below. Get it from Timu right now. Right now, it's only 10.24 p.m., but we're gonna try and get some early shut-eye. We're gonna be doing my live stream um, really soon. We're gonna do that and then we're gonna get some early shut eye because tomorrow is officially Eid. So Eid Mubarak to everybody that's fasted during Ramadan, this Ramadan season. Um, big shout out to all my Muslim friends and all my friends that actually partook in Ramadan and actually fasted. So big shout out to you. Happy Eid. <laughs> I'm li literally doing this the night before Eid. I'm making this video for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Smash the hell out of that like button and Timu, thank you for all these awesome items that are helping us out on today's camping adventure. Boom. Boom. Dude, this thing is so bright. Wow. Check out this mega flashlight that Timu hooked me up with. This thing is freaking awesome. I didn't even get a chance to test it out until now. I wanted to wait until it's mega dark. This is gonna come in handy once we're doing that live stream today though. Freaking wow, this thing. is very bright, man. Dude, it's crazy. It's like a freaking, it's like a lightsaber. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. I don't think I've ever handled a flashlight this big. It's really girthy. It's a big black one. I like it. I don't like white flashlights. Usually they they tend to get dirty in my hands. But the black ones are pretty good. I like it. It does have a, a zoom, as you guys can see. And if you just keep doing that, it zooms in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> Oh, what the f 
fuck was that? What huh? was that? What do you mean? There's someone just walking around. No, no. I heard him. I swear to God, he's here. Bro, don't stress me out, man. Bro, I was literally just falling asleep. Is this a prank? Too. Huh? Are you pranking me? No, I'm not pranking you. I heard somebody walking around. Like, actually, somebody walking around. Where's the, the Timu flashlight, the bright one? I have it in my hand. You have it? Yeah. If I remember correctly, I think the guy's name was Logan. Logan? Logan, yeah. The cameraman? Yeah. Logan! Show yourself. We know you're out here watching us. Bro, 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 I'm not doing this yet. I can't, I can't. Hey, grab the camera. It wasn't animals, it was literally human. So, I just reviewed my footage. It definitely sounded like somebody was walking around back there. So, Moshi and I are gonna go look for whoever the it was. I believe the camo guy is literally watching us, literally as we speak. I don't know where he is. The guys will camo it out, but we're definitely gonna find him tonight. We should turn off lights and see if he's around here somewhere. There's no way this guy's walking around pitch black, right? Yeah. I don't see anything. Holy moly. Bro, I'm, I'm scared of the dark. Bro, can I keep <laughs> the lights on? Bro, it, it is so dark. I swear to God, I just saw him. Where? Back there, somewhere. He's there? Somewhere over there. He's not there now. Should we try to go after this guy? It'll be risky. Like, we are here to camp out, but how are we gonna camp out here? If this guy's literally on the property and he's watching us, like I heard his footsteps. He literally came through here and oh, oh, what the? F Yo, what the? F hey, <coughs> that was him. That was him. That was him. Come on, run, 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 run. Come on. Watch your step. Watch your step. That was him. Where the f did this guy go? Watch your step, bro. Do you see him anywhere? Here, hold the camera, hold the camera. Shit. Oh, I left my, my big flashlight at the camp. Dude, I saw him running through. Did you see him? Yeah, man, of course. He had a light too. Yeah, he had a flashlight. So he's turning his flashlights on and off. Yo, Logan. So from the last time that I was here, or the the second episode that I did um, in the past in the fall, I found his diary and I think his name was Logan. Hey Logan, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come talk to me, man. I know you used to be a fan of mine. Well, I'm terrified now. I mean, don't be scared because realistically, if he does come after us, I'm gonna kick you, you're gonna fall, you know, let him get you, and I'm gonna run away. Bro, again. stop, stop! Don't stress me out, man. Please. It's it's the way of life. Bro. <laughs> it's the way of life. I got more subscribers than Sultan. Oh my god. Bro, that guy. Where'd he go? Ass. Dude, the guy was behind me the entire time, hiding in the bush. The only reason why I noticed him because I noticed a flashlight turn on. Yo. Logan? Where are you? Yeah, it's gone so quiet. He's definitely watching us. Thing is, we need the lights to see. Somehow this guy's able to see in the dark. He's like a freaking vampire or something. Do you want to go back to the campsite and, and regroup? And do what? We just left the campsite. We want to find this guy. Either he's luring us to a trap. That's what I'm thinking. That's something. why I'm saying. 
Because right now we're in unknown territory, right? Like he might have set something up. Right. Well, no, we, we're in my territory. <laughs> it's not unknown. I know all these like trails and stuff, right? But he's he's hiding somewhere. He's definitely not sleeping at the other campsite, which I haven't been to since the fall season. I don't want to go to it again. It's far away. And I know uh, you guys are probably sick and tired of me going oh, there. Oh, what if he circled back and ran to the house? No, he went down this way, dude. There's no way. So we, we haven't seen a single flashlight, right? Hold on, let me grab it. I got more flashlights in here. I need another one. Oh, I did bring it with me. Hell yeah. Timu for the rescue. Look at that. Thank you, Timu. Oh, we got a bright light now. It's so hard to see because he's so camouflaged, too. Where is this guy? Oh, what's that? Where? Over there. Well, that's just the, uh, the skits that oh. I have here. Let's go in a little bit more. Turn off my lights just to see if I can see any other flashlights, but I don't see anything. Man, this Timu light makes everything creepier here, dude. What the hell? Logan. Logan, show yourself. <gasps> what the fuck was that? Oh, what the fuck? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Bro, what the hell? He's right there. Yo. What the f Sit tight, bro. Sit tight. Hold on. He's leading us to a trap. He threw one of my dummy heads. I, I shoot this with my bow and arrow all the time. Where'd he go? Switching over to my other flashlight. Hold on a sec. Oh, I just heard something from from, the, from this side over here. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I don't know. I don't know. He's definitely leading us to a trap, though. Here, hold this flashlight. I need both my hands, just in case. He threw one of my head down. I use this for like, you know, sh I shoot it with an arrow and everything. Dude, he's definitely leading us to a trap, man. I'm telling you. I don't think we should be pursuing this guy at nighttime. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's a stupid idea. He went through, he went through the trail. I think he's going back to his actual fort, though. I think he ran away. He's trying to lead us to some place. Yeah, he's leading us back to the fort. Here, take the camera. Hey, try. Oh. You, you gotta zoom in on that? Yeah. I seen him. I seen him run across down the end of that trail. I think the camera got him too. Dude, this team of freaking flashlights is amazing. Alright, well, clearly he's leading us to like a trap, right? Yeah, dude, I, I don't want to go deeper. You don't know what he's got set up, like booby traps? You know what I mean? But we haven't been to his, his campsite. We should definitely go in the daytime. Dude, imagine this tree's like set up to fall on us. <laughs> I, I have a feeling, man. That's I have a I mean. feeling. There's some booby trap he's leading us into. I don't want to take a step further, man. Like, you guys know I'm really like psychic. Like, I always have like this intuition that something bad's gonna happen, and every bone in my body's telling me, do not go. And I don't think I want to, to be honest. Oh, 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 there he is, there he is. Look, look, I can see him. You see him at the end? He's standing right there. He's standing right there. Dude, he's literally standing right there. He's like hiding behind the Logan! Tree. Oh, where'd he go? Unless that was my eyes playing tricks on me. I saw him standing at the end of this, like far away from He me. knows, he knows what he's doing. He wants us to... No, we're he's not going to do it. He's showing himself Fuck a little that. bit because he wants us to go there. Bro, there's a lot of crazies out there. Let's go. I'm not, I'm not going to follow him. Yeah, dude. Thank you, Logan. Yeah. What happened? It sounded like somebody took a step. Turn off your light first. Bro, I don't want to turn it on. Turn it off. Hold on. Here, you take the big flashlight if you need. You turn it on right away. Let me man the camera over here. Turn it off. Look at that flat. Look at that light. He's there. He's there. He's moving around. He's got a flashlight on. You see him? Oh, he's oh right there. there it is again. Who's there? Where'd it go? He's back at the house. Oh, there it is, there it is. That's not the house, dude. That's near the creek. Oh, you turn off his light. Oh, it's back on now. Wait, how did he get there so quickly? Wait, wasn't he just behind us? I swear to God, he was just behind us. 
I'm so confused. Wait, is there two of them? If there's two of them, that's a concern. All right, y'all, jumping into the night, we're back at the campsite right now. I forgot how scary, scary it was. Is that why you disappeared on me for like Honestly, half a year? part of it, yeah, man. I was tired of this abandoned stuff. I was scared of the haunted stuff. Like, I got nightmares. I told you, didn't I tell you? No, I get nightmares too still. I get nightmares now. I don't know, he's definitely out here, but I, I don't think we should let that deter us from continuing this no, adventure. No, well, I, I don't want to be here, man. You actually don't want to be I here? I really don't want to be here right now. Like, oh. it was fine when it was earlier, but not right now. <laughs> Bro, but we said we're... Bro, the guy was leading us into booby traps, <laughs> and you want to go towards him? Here's the thing. I never told Moshi about the camel guy until we got here. He um, told me we're doing a camping video. I told him we're doing a camping video. I'm almost playing with my hair now. Fuck, it's so annoying. Um, I told him we're doing a camping video, but I didn't tell him about the camel guy or any of like the dangers that have been happening out here. I mean, like, if I told you, you probably wouldn't have showed up. He's the only one available that can help me, like, come and do this. I don't want to do this by myself. I don't want to get shanked. I'd rather you get shanked before oh, me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I don't want no, you to get shanked don't either. Don't say that. Don't say that. You actually don't want to do this. I can't. I don't want to be here right now, Mo. Please, bro. Like, you know me. I'm always down to help out, but this is getting too much. We saw him with a flashlight. He was running. He set booby traps. He threw the head, man. There's a bright light out there in the distance. Down there. Turn off your light. Yeah, wait down there. Oh, it's gone. Oh, you see it? Way down there, there it is. There's a light down there. A bright flashlight. It's gone. That's where the, uh, that's where the river and the creek is, dude. The one that we went to in the daytime. Please go back to the house. How about this, we come back in the daytime and we find this piece of shit and get, yeah, get rid of Yeah, and let's end it. And let's call the cops or something. Let's just deal with this the proper way. Like, yeah, I don't... yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs>